so what you want to do first is head on over to the link in the description and then you want to choose an option i'm gonna hit the free download but if you guys are feeling generous you can go ahead and tip five dollars that'd be much appreciated we're going to start with the final cut pro 10 version so we're going to make a cut and then we're going to head on over to the blade tool which is you know you can press b to split the clip and then choose the paper full transition that you want to use from the file uh, or the folder you downloaded drop them into the timeline and what you want to do is you want to pretty much stack them in final cut pro 10 just like this and you want to make sure that you highlight all of the clips and you move them over to the end of that first clip um, to create the transition so then select the right alpha and the left alpha and drag those underneath and what you want to do is select the uh, texture animated left make sure that one's underneath the right alpha make a cut towards the beginning of the transition you can also again use the blade tool or, or press B and then you want to select the video clip and hold option and drag upwards to duplicate the clip or you can go to edit copy and paste that video as well and then you want to go ahead and just drag that video clip right above our right alpha clip so you want to go ahead and select the uh, right alpha clip and you want to go over to the inspector window go over to the compositing and change the blend mode from normal to stencil alpha so again, it's stencil alpha that you want to select. And then you're going to select the animated left alpha clip and do the same thing. So change the blend mode to stencil alpha. And you're going to select the top three clips and then hit new compounds clip. Give the compounds clip a name and click on OK. And then we're going to do the same exact thing for the bottom three clips. So go ahead and right click and go to new compounds clip. Give the group a name. And now you have a top clip and a bottom clip. And then all you have to do now is select one of the clips and go to transform. And then we're going to add a keyframe at the beginning or around the 10th frame, depending how fast you want the animation to come in. And then you want to add a keyframe right there and then move the playhead at the end, but move it one frame to the left and then go over to the transform settings in the inspector window and change the position for X and drag that one to the left side. If you want it to come in from the left, you would just drag it out of the frame. So it comes in just like that. Okay. And you want to do the same exact thing for the other video clips. Select the top clip. Just make sure the playhead is at the beginning. Go to the transform, add a keyframe around the 10th frame or so. Again, this is entirely up to you, but I'm gonna go to the 10th frame. And on that position, I'm gonna add a keyframe and then I'm gonna go to towards the end, go one frame to the left. And then in the transform, just change the X position and drag that one out to the right side and then go ahead and click on done. And now you should have your animation. Just drag the following clip underneath your clips and you now have the super cool paper full transition in Final Cut Pro. So let's move on to Premiere. All right, so we're now working in Adobe Premiere Pro, and what you wanna do first is head on over to the sequence settings. So go to sequence settings, and then make sure we're working with a 16 by nine video frame size, which we are. Then go over to the project settings, import your clip, so right click and go to import to add the transitions that you wanna use. So select the folder. In this case, we're gonna use the paper full transition two that we used in Final Cut Pro. So click on import. What you wanna do is go into the timeline and we're going to extend these clips a little bit so that they're longer than our transitions for this to work. So we're gonna drag the left alpha clip above our media in the timeline and you want to drag the left alpha out as well so you can extend the first clip. So extend it out as much as you need to. Just make sure the first clip is staying within the same scene. Then drag the alpha clip towards the end of the first clip and then move the playhead at the beginning of our transition. And we're gonna make a cut with the razor tool, just like that with the video. And then we're gonna add the animated left texture clip. And we're just going to make sure we have multiple video tracks. So you can do that by just right clicking and clicking on add track. So we're going to now select and duplicate our video clip or hold alter option and drag upwards. And then we're gonna make sure these are just stacked just like so. With the left alpha clip selected, go over to the bin and go to the effects and then under the search type in key and this should bring up the video effects uh, underneath keying you're going to have the track mat key so add the track mat key directly onto your video clip with the left alpha clip we're going to drag that above our texture clip so that this works properly then you're going to add another track mat key to our texture clip both the video and the texture have a track mat key and then you're going to go over to the mat and we're going to change where it says none 
to the alpha clip video track, which is on V5 or video five. So change it to video five. And then you wanna change the composite using to matte alpha. And then we're going to select the textured clip and do the same thing. So under matte, we're gonna change this to video five because that is where the alpha clip is in the timeline. So change it to video five and then composite is set to matte alpha. Then what you wanna do is with the textured clip selected, we're gonna go over to the video under opacity. We're gonna change the blend mode from normal to linear dodge add. And then you wanna select all of them, right click and go to nest to nest them all together or group them together. Give it a name, I'm gonna name this left so it acts as a single clip. We're gonna duplicate this clip again, the video clip. So right click and go to copy or hold alt or option and drag upwards. And then we're gonna add in the media browser um, or, or in our bin, we're gonna add the right textured clip and the right alpha clip as well so that they match uh, together. With the textured clip selected or the video clip selected, we're gonna go to the effects and we're gonna go to track and we're gonna go to the keying, add the track matte key onto our video clip. And then where it says the matte, we're gonna change that to where our alpha clip is in the timeline. It is on video track number six. So we're gonna do video six. And then composite is on matte alpha. Do the same thing for the textured clip, add a track matte key to that one as well. And then change the matte to, uh, where it says none to video six, like before and then change the composite to matte alpha. And then with our textured clip, we're gonna change the blend mode again to linear dodge add, so we can see your clip beneath. Then we're going to highlight those three clips. You wanna right click and go to nest to group them together, give it a name and click on okay. Then you're gonna select the left clip and go to the effect controls. And you should have the position with a stopwatch. So we're gonna move the playhead at the beginning and add a keyframe. Go towards the end, but go one frame to the left. And then we're going to drag these values so that however we want it. So we're gonna drag the first value to the left and so it's out of the frame. And we're gonna do the same thing for the right clip. So we're gonna just go one frame to the end and drag it on the opposite side. So they now both come in at the same exact time. And now you have your finished result and it looks just like that. It looks super, super cool. So if you guys wanna try it out for yourself, download it for free. Link is in the description.